So tonight we headed down the road to our London rivals, West Ham United, and came away with only one point. This is the same West Ham United that are fighting a relegation battle. But credit to them. Credit to David Moyes as well, because since he's joined them, they've been on an uprise. Well, not really rising up the table, but their performances have been somewhat okay. Tonight, West Ham put all their players behind the ball and tried a bit of route one football with us, trying to get us on the counter-attack, which is basically the same thing they did against Chelsea, and it almost worked. Until Anartovic's goal was denied because he was caught offside. Thank God for that. Because that would have been an embarrassing start for us after what happened against Southampton away. It was such a frustrating game to watch. So frustrating in the simple fact that you would expect to go away to a team that's in the bottom three and come away with at least three points. Frustrating goal is draw to say the least. I think our only chance came when Awobi pinged the ball off the post. And that was about it for the first half. The second half kicked off well for us. We was playing well, bringing the ball forward. We was all over them really, but there was just no chance getting past that 20 man defence. Every man was in the box. Well, Giroud got a header, but it deflected wide. Even Ozil had a shot that shot wide, but there was just no getting past that defence. I will say though, Maitland Niles, what a debut for him in the Premier League because his crosses were probably the only thing that gave us a chance to get Giroud on the end of the ball during that game. I mean, our biggest chance in the second half came when Jack Wilshire found the ball in the box, but he shot it way over the crossbar. I mean, I think the only problem was he didn't take his time. There was a lot of two-touch football going on during that moment of time in the game, and it was so fast-paced that he just did not relax and take his time with that. And that would have been game set done if that found the back of the net, but it didn't. It just didn't happen. It was super frustrating to see that fly over the, fly over the goal, and I'm sure... He was frustrated at that point too. Although his shot didn't go in, I will praise him on his return to the Premier League with Arsenal because he has been playing in the Premier League with Bournemouth. But his Premier League start today with Arsenal was pretty decent. He made some key passes in the game. 100% pass accuracy, 32 passes attempted, 32 passes completed. He didn't put a foot wrong in my eyes except for when he rocketed the ball over the goal. But other than that, it was a very good return. But at this point in the league, all we need to see is some goals and some free points, to be honest. But Now, after that performance, we sit 7th in the Premier League table with only 30 points. One point behind Liverpool, Tottenham and Burnley. And next, we face Newcastle, another struggling team, in my opinion. Can we get more than one point this time? Can we go home? We're home this time. Can we get three points at the Emirates against Newcastle? Let me know in the comments below. Where can we end up this season? What is in store for Arsenal this season? Will we even make top four? Do we deserve top four? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you on Saturday at Arsenal vs Newcastle. I will be there, so hit me up and I'll come meet some of you. Peace.